we're gonna get across here and uh, I sure am hoping when we're across that there's somewhere for us to go but if you ask me that looks well that's rideable isn't it I just bought a new way spend a couple thousand just to cruise it Shawty said she love me but it's fresh and never prove it I know I gotta put it in the music but that's okay All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day Make the Lord up above Get the cream on the side Make it after knowing That's the stuff that I love Love La da 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 We can be friends if See how it does Welcome to this James the Bike Guy where by the thumbnail and title you probably know it's my first ride on my Trek Checkpoint SL6. Now embarrassingly I've had this bike built for the better part of a month and even longer have I had it you know in a box. So it's a little embarrassing but I'm finally getting to ride it and uh, so far I'll tell you what and this is comfy comfy bike i just plugged into my garmin you know a quick 25 mile mixed terrain ride uh, near my house there's a lot of you know b roads or unimproved fire roads so plenty of stuff to get into so i'm just gonna see where the adventure takes us today check back with you guys after a little more riding and let you know what i think about the bike Into the gravel we go. <laughs> so nice to be able to have one bike to hit all different types of terrain with. And to think this 38 millimeter tire that's on the bike more or less is what people rode for mountain bikes back in the day. So Really, with a gravel bike, there's no reason you can't do all the same stuff you would have been able to do on a mountain bike. How are you guys? Hey. All right. It's like the story of my life. Best friend, but we rocking all the same things. Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes. Well, I don't even care. In my life, I don't battle with no fear been in the woods a little while now terrain reasonably well handled on this bike gun range right next to me so it sounds <laughs> oh yeah keep out well we'll go ahead and stay away from there but uh, I'll tell you what even one-handed this kind of terrain is handling just fine now compared to the diverge I had before, I definitely missed that future shock. Um, the front end having the compression is just so nice. But uh, overall, pretty happy with it so far. So that would figure it. I've gotten to the back side of uh, where I was hearing the gun noise from, or front side, I should say. And you can see police shooting range right down there. Interesting. So we found ourselves on a uh, sort of paved road here, a little bit bumpy and I figure it's a good time to talk about the ride quality of the bike. I mean the 40C tires make a pretty big difference, uh, or rather 38s I should say, um, make a big difference with it being nice and comfy and in general it handles pretty well. So with the checkpoint because I wanted it to be a little more rowdy of a uh, set up for me I went with the 56 centimeter I probably should you know traditionally be on the 54 at 5859 um, but with the 56 I was able to run a short 75 millimeter stem 
which the 75 mil stem is uh, kind of the right length to get real quick handling out of the front end, have it have a little more mountain bike feel, uh, but still be able to run, you know, my nose of, uh, of saddle to center a handlebar of, of 50.1, which is kind of my normal fit spec. How are you? Now that was a little bit looser and definitely bounces around, but not too bad. They're gonna let us go by. How are you? There are a lot of people out today. It's really nice to see how many people are enjoying the, uh, the great outdoors these days. Well, I've been out riding for a little while and uh, I'm pretty, pretty dang happy with it. The uh, checkpoint has been riding super well. The GRX group set here is pretty phenomenal. I'm super happy with that. More or less, I mean, it's a mountain bike drivetrain. It's got plenty of gear. Granted, where I've been today, I haven't really needed too much climbing gear, but uh, for this kind of stuff, nice sights, little lookout here, not too bad. Let's uh, let me show you this. So this is uh, where they do a lot of bird watching here, and it's it's pretty gorgeous. While we're at this stop, about midway through, got to remember two things. First off, got to stay hydrated. Ah, enjoy the taste of dirt. And then second off, if you don't get a picture, well, you may as well not have gone on the ride. So let's go ahead, get one of those for Instagram here. That's about right. Let's get back on the trail. If you wanna, hey, tell me what you wanna do. We could just laugh if you wanna. Wow, we should stop and take a look at this. Look at that house. Dang, is that gorgeous. That's house, uh, house goals right there for sure. You got the nice lake, you got the park, and you got that house. Whew. So here we go, we've got a climb here and I drop into the little ring and uh, about middle of cassette to get up this. <laughs> it's amazing this bike, the gearing goes so flipping low with that 31 tooth up front and a 34 in back. You could climb up Everest if you wanted to. How are you? Am I getting in the way of a shot? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, you're playing with that. Don't want to ruin it. We're on Buffinville Dam at this point. This is, uh, of course, all paved, but still pretty cool to go through. They've got a disc golf uh, course down there. It's a nice little spot. But down there, they've got some sort of rescue operation going on. Uh, obviously not real. It looks like training. Well, that's pretty neat. And then here is the reason we got here. Look at that. Whew. I know it's nothing like the boys out in the Midwest with the giant mountains, but uh, for New England, that's pretty good. Especially in Central Mass here. Time for a bit of hike a bike here. Uh, but this is where these CX frames do uh, pretty nice. Just shoulder it and off you go. 
I sure am hoping when we're across that there's somewhere for us to go. But, you ask me, that looks, well that's rideable, isn't it? Yeah! Well, that was definitely <laughs> steeper than I expected. I mean, look at that. And then uh, we've got our high water mark and stuff there. But, uh, hey, you know, it did all right. Look out there. Whew. We are lucky to be alive today, boys. All right, time to get up this uh, little cliff and gauge crawl mode. And we can sit back, and what's funny is it's so low, it's trying to pick up the front end. Yeah, you gotta keep your weight forward, because it'll pick up. All right, well, let's get some, a uh, little more hydration. And I think it's about time to start finding our way home. Peace. So as the ride begins to uh, come to an end, as I'm getting closer to my house, figured I'd talk a little bit about how the bike rides. So off-road and in the gravel, super happy with how it feels. Uh, I mean, it's got plenty of control. It's got plenty of damping. Those 38 C tires do an awesome job, you know, gripping. I'm really happy with the uh, Sawtooth from Specialized. That's what I'm running on here. And on the road, pretty nice as well I mean let's not get mistaken this is not a you know a performance road bike and you know that's perfectly fine and it's not supposed to be um, I like how the frame is stiff enough that it feels like you've got plenty of power as you get going and so you know small little accelerations does just fine and then the other thing that I like is it doesn't feel too marshmallowy so some gravel bikes, because they're just so big, big tires, comfy frame, all that stuff, they end up feeling like a marshmallow when you're riding. So, you know, that marshmallow feel kind of ruins the ability for the bike to feel fast and fun. So in this case, it doesn't have that, that ruined. Now I think if you went as wide as like the 47C tires, that you can fit on 650B wheels, that would start to get wallowy. But these 38C tires, they're perfect. Definitely pretty happy with them. Now past that, bike goes pretty good. It rides well. The positioning that I did on the bike feels pretty good too. And uh, in general, I'm really quite happy with it. It's a fun fact, I live right by an industrial park and uh, it's a cheater way to get back in without going all the way around. Perfect for the gravel bike. Woo! <laughs> Though I know for a fact my neighbor does not quite care for it when I come out at the end of the cul-de-sac. Well thanks so much for watching guys. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already. While you're at it, 
let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and uh, as always please remember to hit that subscribe button that way you can see more videos like this in the future